Greetings and welcome to episode 12 of the Math Olympiad Lecture Series. Today we will be looking into geometric progressions and its summation. The objective of this lesson will be for students to be able to find both the finite and infinite sum of a geometric progression and to solve problems involving geometric progressions. Let's begin with a recap of the last lecture. Have a look at this sequence. 11, 14, 17, 20, 23. This is an example of an arithmetic progression. Each successive term increases by 3. We can call this increment of 3 the common difference. Today, we are going to look at a different kind of sequence. In a geometric sequence, each successive term is increased by a multiplicative factor, which is 3 in this case. So 8 times 3 gives you 24, 24 times 3 gives you 72, and so on. This factor of 3 is also known as the common ratio. Visually, we can picture an arithmetic progression just like this straight line graph, where the common difference is like the gradient of the straight line. However, in a geometric progression, you would visualize it as an exponential graph, just like the number of COVID patients in the world right now. This number is doubling at a steady rate. Let's now dive in the world of geometric progressions with question number one. This is also a tribute to the Rick and Morty cartoon series. In the show, we meet Mr. Me6. Let's make three assumptions of Me6. Firstly, they are immortal, they don't die. Secondly, each Me6 after their own creation will create two more Me6 one hour thereafter, and each new Me6 only does this once. Lastly, we begin with just one Me6. The question is, how many me six would there be in 10 hours? Pause the video here and give this question a good try. Let's go through the thinking process for this problem. We can start by making a model. Initially at t equals to zero, we have exactly one me six. At t equals to one, he makes two more me six. So now we have one plus two, which is three me six. At t equals to two, the two new me6 now make four more me6, so now we have seven me6. This pattern continues until we reach t equals to 10, where we get 2 to the power of 10 new me6 created. The total number of me6 now will be 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cubed, all the way to 2 to the power of 10. This is the sum of a geometric progression. To find the sum of this geometric progression, we are going to use a trick similar to finding the sum of an arithmetic progression. We start by letting s be the sum from 1 to 2 to the power of 10, and we are going to call this equation 1. We then multiply each term by the common ratio, which is 2. This gives us equation 2. By subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, on the left hand side we will get 2s minus s, which is just s. And on the right hand side, we'll get 2 to the power of 11 minus 1, which is equals to 2047. So the answer is 2047. Did you get the answer? Moving on to question number 2. Let k equals to 1 plus the 7th root of 2 plus the 7th root of 4 plus the 7th root of 8 all the way to the 7th root of 64. Find the value of 1 plus 1 over k to the power of 49. Pause the video here and give this question a good try. So the approach here is very similar to question number 1. What we need to do is start by looking for the common ratio. By expressing every term as a power of 2, we can see that k is equal to 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 1 over 7 plus 2 to the power of 2 over 7 all the way to, to the power of 6 over 7. Let's call this equation number 1. This also tells us that the common ratio is 2 to the power of 1 over 7. By multiplying every term in the equation by the common ratio, we will get equation 2. Notice that every term transforms into its subsequent term. For example, 2 to the power of 0 becomes 2 to the power of 1 over 7, 2 to the power of 1 over 7 becomes 2 to the power of 2 over 7. And most of the terms will be repeated. When you subtract equation 1 from equation 2, the repeated terms will cancel out. On the left hand side, we will have k minus 2 to the power of 1 over 7 times k, and on the right hand side, 
you'll get 2 to the power of 0 minus 2. With some rearrangements, we can make k the subject. k will be equal to 1 over the 7th root of 2 minus 1. But we're still not done. We somehow still need to force out a 1 plus 1 over k, which we could do by using substitution. Alternatively, you could make the 7th root of 2 the subject. By raising both sides to the power of 7, you'll get 1 plus 1 over k to the power of 7 equals to 2. This tells you that 1 plus 1 over k to the power of 49 will be equals to 2 to the power of 7, which is 128. So the answer is 128. Did you get the answer? Moving on to question number 3. Let's look what happens when we sum a geometric series forever. Have a look at these two questions, pause the video here, and give them a good try. So for part 1, this question involves the sum 1 plus half plus 1 quarter plus 1 eighth and so on. There is a nice geometric trick to this problem. This problem is geometrically equivalent to just adding 1 square to half a square to 1 quarter of a square and so on. It turns out that if you continue this forever, you'll just get two whole squares. So the answer is 2. In part 2, we can use a trick similar to what we used in question 1 and 2. We first let s be the sum 1 plus 1 third plus 1 ninth plus 1 over 27 and so on. Let's call this equation 1. Noting that the common ratio is 1 third, we can multiply every term in equation 1 by 1 third to get equation number 2. By subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, the left hand side will be left with 2 third s. On the right hand side, almost every term is obliterated except for the number 1. Hence, we can make s the subject, s is equal to 3 over 2 or 1.5. So in summary, in part 1, the answer is 2, and in part 2, the answer is 1.5. Did you get the answer? Now, while I've gone through a more intuitive way to approach the sum of a geometric progression, there is a general formula to add up the first n plus 1 terms in a geometric progression. Now, if we let a be the first term, r be the common ratio, and there be n plus 1 terms, the general formula is a bracket r to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 close bracket divided by r minus 1. And if we are going to sum this uh, infinitely many times, the formula would be a over 1 minus r. This, however, assumes that the series is a converging sequence. This would happen if the common ratio is between minus 1 and 1. So here are some extension problems revolving geometric progressions that you can try out that's similar to what I've covered today. Here's question 1 and 2. Problem number 3 is a physics problem for those who are taking part in Physics Olympiad. And problem number 4 is a geometric problem. The answers to these problems will be posted in the info section when the next video is up. The solutions to lecture 11's uh, extension problems have just been posted, so you can check those out too. With that, we have come to the end of episode 12. Stay tuned to the next episode on Pascal's Triangle and Binomial Theorem. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos on Olympiad Math. Thank you and have a good day of learning.